Oh, a nice cup of tea. British Empire was built in cups of tea. And I love it. So I've got all my stuff out. Oh, by the way, welcome to Feed Me Friday. I've got all my stuff out. And this is basically a snacky type thing that I do for a snack. It's a meat free snack, although it does contain fish. I'm not sure if fish is a meat. I don't class it as meat. Meat is pork, beef, you know, sausages, chicken, things like that. Bacon. I do like a bacon sandwich. But this is just a a tuna accoutrements with it with um what's one a cucumber um a, a spring onion i have a normal type of onion some sweet corn a couple of tomiatos tuna tuna and some celery for alternatives uh, and a bit of mayo and i think that just about covers it so the whole idea of this is to try and try and feed myself throughout the week at least one meal a day well one meal every so often which is which is a little bit healthy i'm not so sure if the mayonnaise is healthy because it's full fat mayo i don't well i can eat light mayo but i don't i don't eat it like mayo and this this simple a simple dish really and all wastage co goes in the um Mmm, goes in the bin. So all I simply do is cut these things in half, the old cucumber, and the whole idea of this is to pile all of that accoutrements in here. So you need to cut, cut these out, the pit things. I'm not very good at cutting these things. My knife's not very sharp either. That doesn't help, does it? There we go. Look, at that. it's got that 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 sort of. Can I throw them away or eat it? No, I don't like wasting food. Hopefully, you'll prepare it better than that. Get a spring onion. Chop off the end. I've learned a few things this week. Well, actually, I've bought myself a uh, a chainsaw. That bow saw killed me when I started cutting up the wood. Absolutely. People say you can um, wood helps keep warm three times. One, collecting it. Two, cutting it, and three, burning it. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm happy with wood two times. I don't mind collecting it. And I don't mind burning it, but cutting it up, not a chance. I wouldn't need, actually wouldn't need to burn it if I cut it up with a bow saw. It's a bit particularly, you know, if you got cold on the boat, get a bow saw out, cut a bit of wood. It won't be cold then. And then when you get back on the boat, you'll be quite warm, which is often what I do, to be fair. I, um, you know, first thing in the morning, I go out, put it in the bowl, look. I go out and um, go for a little walk, and then when I come back, well, because it's colder outside, generally speaking, the inside of the boat's quite warm. That's a very skin flint way of looking at life, isn't it? Proper skin flint way. I'll have a couple of these things in there. Cut these up. Let's go wild. And uh, so I bought myself a chainsaw. Uh, what else have I done? I bought myself some rugs, some little runners. You know, so uh, I've got one down here. I've got one in front of the fire and one in, in by my back doors, you no, know, my front doors, um, as I come in from the well deck. That do. As I come in from the well deck. And. Um, you know, so preparing for the winter, realistically, is uh, making sure that I look after the wood that's on the floor. A few of these sweet corns, 
they come in um I've got water and stuff inside it but there do there there we go and again have a spoonful mm. spoonful for luck swigger tea ah now you need to Open the tin, mark one, clasp knife is my tin opener. I've had it for years. So all those other tin openers that you have, they eventually break. Well, I must have had this 30 year, guaranteed to work. Empty the spring water. And what I do now, where's the spoon gone? Over there. Tuna tins are getting smaller. Everything's getting smaller. Smaller tins, same price, smaller amount of food that's in a minute. They used to be quite big, these things. And I shop in Audi, generally speaking, because it's like, where do they come from? Go in there. I think one of the best adverts Audi did was like, shop at Audi, 30% pay rise. Give it a good old stir. And then all we simply do is put them in that bed of cucumber. That's quite nice, that's got a bit of a mush. A little dollop of, of mayo. Lick the spoon. It's only me that's eating it. Not mad, does it? There we go. That goes for the compost bin. A couple of them that need eating. Compost bin. And um, all we simply do now with a plate. Is dollop this in. Oh, that term dollop. Very nice. Well, I think it's nice. It's just a cheap, I'm not sure if it's cheap actually, but I've often got a little bit of salad stuff knocking about. Um, cucumbers about 60p. And, um, you know, essentially the tuna fish, you know, is relatively expensive, but it's a healthy ish. We'll shove that in there. That hasn't done too well, has it? This is like um, a snack. I quite like it. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, although you can't get it in, the celery, it's nice just to spoon it in and swig a tea before it goes cold, which it nearly was. Snack number two, I've got this, um, these eight tortilla wraps. You can get big ones or, or little ones. And if I have a big wrap, then I'll eat a big wrap. But if I have a small wrap, then one, I'm not eating so much, which is what I'm trying to do is save a little bit of the opportunity for my wok to, to come back. So um, whilst, uh, you know, that's a fiddly bit of eating, perhaps, um, a more traditional way is wrap it up in what is known as a wrap. So I think it does depend on, one, who I'm feeding, what I plan to do. See that, I can't, I, you know, I'm just gonna peel all of that in actually. I don't know how it's all gonna fit in, but it will do. And, um, yeah, so these are these are little snacks I I produce for myself. The first one actually come from the ex-wife. She does that to the to the kids. So I'm practicing making it. And now somehow or other, there's an awful lot of filling in there. 
but if you squeeze it together it's rather nice and actually you know do you know what it is 15 o'clock because I've been out to um, to all sorts of places this morning I've got a cold bucket as well I didn't mention that I've got a cold bucket so I'm sort of now I need to get my fire going um, I've been warned that your first burn stinks the boat out so don't have a romantic evening light the fire because you'll be choking so I need to square that away so I've been out and got me rugs got a fire bucket got a chainsaw and now I've come to do some eating so it's a bit late so I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner probably not have any there we go oh they are proper manky so I'll have I'll have them bananas in a milkshake type thing anyway thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing just as a small point Fridays you know I'm, I'm sort of people are unsubscribing quite a lot at the moment I don't know why but they just do Fridays you don't have to watch all of these things Fridays is a bit of cooking and me rabbiting on Sundays is me rabbiting on Wednesday is the boaty vlog me rabbiting on and I'm going to do photo Thursday with me rabbiting on now they're not all going to be continuous I'll kill myself otherwise um, but you, you know just choose which ones you want to watch and watch them all great and uh, so Instagram oh look at me I'm spilling half of that I've got it all down the cupboards look because it's so juicy on the floor oh look at that oh thanks for watching next week I don't know there, there's there, there, someone prawns prawns I need to get some prawns and I need to practice that but next week a bit of prawns until next time thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing give it a try if you haven't and um, I'll see you another time, perhaps. Hopefully. Ciao.